Oh, I say what? Four months ago, five months ago, I would have a different perspective than watching okay. it now. Yep. As a parent, where uh, yeah, you're in the hospital, where there are so many people that are trained to help and to prepare for right. those things. Yeah, mom and dad. To be alone. Not, yeah, you have nine months to think about uh, the new arrival. It's <laughs> never, rarely in your head is it like, well, what if what if we coming down to the, the last hospital? ten, twenty minutes to get to the hospital? Yeah, what what if that? we have to become doctor oh, and nurses man. and everything else? So. Yeah, they should require, I guess, some kind of a delivery training course, just there, in case. Yeah, I was saying, we you know, doctors, we read the so books, we took the classes. Yeah. there's never like, you know, the all right. Let's have go a garbage over things. bag and some yeah, let's go scissors over, handy. Let's go over what to do in case you don't make it here. And you're just like, yeah. well, that, that would keep Everybody, you, keep you every, every, every parent's uh, couple's worst nightmare probably. Yeah, but hey, yeah. it turned out uh, great now that it's over and yeah. uh, a great Maybe story to tell for, yeah. for mom, dad, and <laughs> yeah. uh, baby Edison too. It's kind of unique. Yeah, yeah. it would be interesting to be born in a car. So. Right. Don't think any drive out there is as eventful so far this morning. Yeah, so hopefully you're not getting stuck on uh, some of those mountain roads a little bit slick. Mm -hmm. If you're heading to the hospital, hopefully... Uh, yeah, not going to hold you back this morning. But yeah, certainly need to give yourself some extra time. Uh, we still have moisture expected to stream into the region throughout the uh, afternoon. So uh, talk about a winter weather advisory in effect for the northern mountain areas. So the west central mountain, upper Weezer Basin, expecting to see additional snowfall. Anywhere from one to four inches of snow could continue to uh, move through the area. So slick roads are likely going to continue. Uh, we do have a look over, uh, this is Donner Pass, as you head up Highway 55 towards McCall or to or from. You can see still some slushy conditions, mainly up here on the uh, southbound side. Uh, but for the most part, things are looking okay as far as the commute goes this morning. 24 hour snow totals, or at least since 5 p.m. yesterday, when a lot of the ski resorts cleared their snow stakes. So Bogus has about two inches sitting on their snow stake this morning, four at Brundage. Tamarack about three inches is what they're reporting since 5 p.m. yesterday and about a half of an inch at Sun Valley this morning. Uh, again, snow still coming down in some of the mountain areas. Temperature readings have been hovering right near the freezing mark, if not just above. So uh, fortunately, we're above freezing. Otherwise, yeah, it might be a little bit uh, more slick out there in a lot of locations with some colder temperatures. So we are below freezing in Garden City, 31 degrees. Good morning to you. Well below freezing in Cuna as well, 28. Parma coming in at 32, Ontario 33, and we're in the teens and 20s for a lot of the mountain valleys with McCall coming in at 23 degrees. So, all right, so moisture riding up and around our ridge of high pressure that's in place over the western coast. Now, as we head forward, uh, this ridge of high pressure will move northward, ushering the jet stream northward as well. But you can see there's, uh, yeah, some limited moisture coming through now this morning uh, into the region. So we could see a few more scattered showers throughout much of the Treasure Valley. A lot of the activity expected to stay in some of the mountain areas, but uh, we can see just another batch of moisture moving in now to the lower valley. So we could see some more snow showers uh, in parts of Ontario, Weezer, uh, Cambridge and Council have seen some snow showers out there this morning as well. As this low pressure system continues to push southeast, we will see more of a uh, drier northerly flow, northwesterly flow set up behind it. And that means we'll likely see sunshine and uh, we are going to see some milder temperatures continue as we head towards the end of the week. All right, the only little hiccup as we head towards the weekend will be this weak disturbance that's going to be passing to the east of us. Uh, staying mainly east of the Rockies, but we will see some cloud cover move in on Friday. We'll call it partly cloudy skies. Otherwise, right now the weekend shaping up to be pretty phenomenal. So, all right, additional snowfall for some of the central mountain locations, even the valleys. Yeah, several inches still possible in some areas like McCall. They've had five inches on their snow stake already this morning. Could see a couple more inches out there. Idaho City picking up another inch or so, at least the possibility of that moving forward. So extended forecast for the Treasure Valley. 42 will be the high today. Again, snow early, uh, a chance of at least with a few afternoon rain showers. May mainly sunshine on Thursday, partly cloudy Friday. We'll see 45 on Saturday. 46 Sunday with mostly sunny skies should be gorgeous weekend. Uh, sunny skies continue into Monday, Tuesday next week. Temperatures likely dropping some. We'll likely see some uh, valley inversion start to build in, so that'll limit just how warm we'll see temperatures throughout much of the afternoon as that cold air starts to fill in in some of the lower valley locations. So mountain forecast, 30 degrees today with some snow showers, 32 tomorrow and Friday, partly cloudy skies. All sunshine on Saturday, gorgeous uh, ski day if you want to head up to the slopes. Lots of uh, bluebird uh, skies out there and then partly cloudy on Sunday. Uh, dry weather continuing into next week. Roland will have any updates to the forecast. He's on 4 and 530, of course, on CBS 2 News, so check in with him then. All right. We've had